At Barksdale Air Force Base in Louisiana, dedicated air crews are loading the Joint Direct Attack Munitions, or JDAMs, onto a bomber. The munition hanging rotates on the B-52H Stratofortress conventional rotary launcher, readying for its mission. Technically speaking, JDAM refers to a kit that's bolted onto the U.S. military's general purpose Mark 80 series bomb and turns it into a GPS-guided weapon. It comes in three sizes, corresponding to different bomb weights. The 500-pound Mark 82 bomb, the 1,000-pound Mark 83 bomb, and the 2,000-pound Mark 84 bomb. The JDAM is not a standalone weapon, but rather a sophisticated add-on that converts conventional unguided bombs into highly accurate munitions. Its essential components include a tail section equipped with aerodynamic control surfaces, a body straight kit for added stability, and an integrated inertial guidance system combined with a GPS control unit. The JDAM system is highly reliable, capable of being dropped from an extremely flexible release envelope to reach targets over 15 miles away. During testing, it's achieved a system reliability of greater than 95% and an accuracy of less than 1.7 meters circular error probable. JDAM has demonstrated improved effectiveness due to its ability to engage both vertically and horizontally developed targets from any desired attack axis, even under adverse weather conditions and in GPS-denied environments. JDAMs have become the weapon of choice for U.S. pilots and for warfighters in allied countries, since production started in 1998 and as of January 2024, Boeing has built more than 550,000 kits. Today, all of the bombers, fighter jets, and drones in America's Joint Force are equipped to deliver JDAMs. It's a safe bet that the next generation B-21 bomber will be as well. Expectations for what strike warfare can accomplish have been genuinely transformed. Instead of sending half a dozen fighters to destroy one target, the military services can dispatch one fighter to destroy half a dozen targets in a single sortie, and at a low cost. Even with the price of the bomb itself included, a JDAM guidance system costs barely $24,000, whereas the value of the target it destroys with pinpoint accuracy may be over a hundred times that amount or more. JDAM thus delivers an unusually favorable cost exchange ratio to U.S. warfighters. Compared with weapons like cruise missiles that might cost the better part of a million dollars, it offers significant cost effectiveness. Smart weapons have been in the news lately, and not in a good way. Dozens of civilians in Yemen, Gaza, Iraq, Syria, and possibly more have been killed by forces using a different type of American-supplied smart bomb. However, neither the makers of smart bombs nor their products are responsible for this tragedy. Precision-guided munitions enable pilots to tailor their strike tactics in order to minimize unnecessary damage, so in principle they can greatly reduce the number of innocent deaths in wartime. Laser JDAM Experience during Operation Enduring Freedom and Operation Iraqi Freedom led U.S. air power planners to seek additional capabilities in one package resulting in ongoing program upgrades to place a precision terminal guidance seeker in the JDAM kit. The Laser JDAM, LJDAM, as this upgrade is known, adds a laser seeker to the nose of a JDAM-equipped bomb. It's called the Precision Laser Guidance set by Boeing and consists of the laser seeker itself, now designated as DSU-38 or DSU-40. Laser JDAMs have been proven to be highly accurate against moving targets since their impact coordinates are updated in flight. Dropped like a conventional JDAM, they'll glide up to 15 miles towards the target using updates from GPS satellites. The weapon guides itself to the target's coordinates in terminal flight using laser energy to correct those coordinates, ensuring precise impact even if the target is maneuvering at highway speeds. The DSU-38 laser sensor has been fully integrated on the 500-pound JDAM, GBU-38, to become the GBU-54. GBU-54 has been extensively combat-proven by the U.S. Air Force, Navy, and Marine Corps. Additionally, the DSU-40 laser sensor has been integrated into the 2,000-pound Mark 84 JDAM, resulting in the GBU-56. JDAM Extended Range JDAM ER wings unfold in flight, effectively tripling the JDAM's range to over 45 miles. 
The modular design of the wing kit facilitates easy upgrades with improved technologies and other modular enhancements, such as laser sensors and anti-jamming countermeasures. In late February 2023, it was revealed that JDAM ERs would be provided to the Ukrainian Air Force as part of an arms package during the Russian invasion of Ukraine. Yuri Ignat, a spokesman for the Air Force Command of the Ukrainian Armed Forces, told Ukrainian TV that these bombs, JDAM, are slightly less powerful but extremely accurate. I'd like to have more such bombs for success at the front. This comment might be a reference to the fact that these bombs are 500 pounds. As for how many were supplied, one U.S. official said enough to do a couple of strikes. At the end of December 2023, a picture emerged providing the best view to date of a unique pylon used by Ukrainian MiG-29 Fulcrum fighters to carry U.S.-supplied JDAM ER bombs. Powered JDAMs A long-range version of the JDAM called the Powered JDAM or PJDAM incorporates an engine to extend its range by 20 times compared to the conventional glide version of the weapon. At its core, the PJDAM consists of four key components, a Kratos TDI J85 engine, a pair of pop-out wings, a main guidance package derived from the GPS-assisted inertial navigation system found on typical JDAMs, and a standard low-drag 500-pound class bomb as its warhead. The PJDAM is effectively a small cruise missile and is designed to offer significantly greater range even compared to the unpowered JDAM ER. A standard wingless JDAM can glide around 15 miles to its target, depending on the release altitude. With its pop-out wings, the JDAM ER can hit targets up to 45 miles away. Boeing says that the PJDAM is expected to be able to reach targets at least 300 miles away. Quick Strike JDAM The Quick Strike is a Mark 80 series general purpose bomb with the fuse replaced with a target detection device to detonate the weapon when it detects an appropriate acoustic, seismic, or pressure signature from a passing vessel. For more than four years now, the Navy's been pursuing two related upgrade programs known as Quick Strike J and Quick Strike Extended Range. The first of these simply combines the mine with the GPS guided JDAM guidance package, while the latter adds a pop out wing kit. Recently, a B-52H Stratofortress attached to the 49th Test and Evaluation Squadron validated the ability to deploy inert JDAM Quick Strike Extended Range Mines from a standoff distance of more than 40 miles off the coast of Kauai, Hawaii at the Pacific Missile Range Facility. The mine combines the concept of a Mark 64 underwater mine with that of the GBU-64 JDAM variant. The resulting weapon is the 2,000-pound Quick Strike Extended Range Mine. Traditionally, mines are employed as an unguided gravity weapon, forcing the aircraft to fly at lower altitudes and release the mines at multiple intervals rather than single releases. This means the mission cannot be accomplished in a contested waterway without accepting a high level of risk. However, the Quick Strike Extended Range program completely changes this concept. What's unique about this weapon is its range and precision, said Lieutenant Colonel Matt Spinelli, 49th Test and Evaluation Squadron Commander. We can now release it in a launch acceptability region at various speeds and altitudes and have the weapon land with incredible accuracy. This reduces the number of weapons needed to affect the minefield and makes the delivery platform more survivable. QuickSync JDAM Recently released footage shows the decimation of a cargo ship by a modified 2,000-pound GBU-31 JDAM dropped by the Air Force from an F-15 Strike Eagle. Moments later, a JDAM approaches from above and the Courageous is literally lifted out of the water and split in half as waves begin to crash on the decks. Once the water settled, the ship can be seen, thanks to a camera placed aboard the ill-fated ship, all but underwater. The JDAM being tested by the Air Force Research Laboratory in the video is called the Quick Sync because, as per the video, it sinks ships quickly. According to the Air Force Research Lab, the Quick Sync aims to develop a low cost method of achieving torpedo like seaworthy kills from the air at a much higher pace and over a much larger area than covered by a lumbering submarine. 